If you're trying to add recent posts to your homepage in Show It, or really any page in Show It, I'm gonna show you exactly how to do that in this video. I'm Melissa of Superhero Design, and I help ambitious women launch bold brands online. Let's get to the video. I'm using the Aurora Loves template as an example. However, most of my templates are set up this way, so you can follow along this tutorial for a different template as well. So the first thing that you're gonna to wanna to do is click on the site tab here on the left and go to pages, select the home page, click on the right three dots and click copy to WordPress. Now, as you can see, it created a page under blog templates called home dash one. Anything under blog templates is gonna be able to connect to your WordPress blog. So that is why we did that. So the next thing I'm gonna do is delete the home page under pages, since I made a copy of it. Click on the home page under blog templates and rename that and get rid of the dash one. So now it's just home. Under the template info tab on the right hand side, you are gonna want to click on the drop down WordPress template and click front page. That way it knows that it's gonna set that as the home page. And under the love stories, which is my recent blog post section in this template, I'm gonna click on page. And in this example, it says recent post demo delete. So we're gonna delete that whole canvas. So I'm gonna click on the right three dots on that canvas and I'm gonna click on delete. So now that is gone and I'm gonna add it back in where it should be. So I'm gonna click on the right three dots and click add new canvas. And I'm going to scroll down to my blog templates under recent posts. I've created a recent post canvas that is going to replace that seamlessly and is set up correctly to work with your blog. So if you click on recent post, replace with this, click add, and then drag it where you want it to be. I believe it was here. Yep. So if I click on that canvas, I'll kind of show you what's going on in here. Each one of these posts is a view so that WordPress knows to pull that in as an individual post. So I'm going to go ahead and click publish. Something else to note is under site, if you click on site settings, click on the blog tab. So where it says blog domain, I need to make sure that that is actually connected to the WordPress blog that show it set up for me. Um, make sure that you do sign up for the at least the basic blog and show it um, level pricing level so that they do set up a blog. So in this case, I'm going to do a test blog. So this is my test blog here. I'm going to click save and just make sure that it's actually hooked up to your blog. And this is the link where you will be accessing your blog. So it would be like yourdomain.com here. Okay, so I'm gonna click close. I'm gonna click on publish again. Okay, so this is my URL that I'm using, this long test URL. So I'm gonna copy that. I'm going to log into my blog. So in this case, to log into your blog, you would go to yourdomain.com forward slash wp-login.php. Mine is the test one, so I have a different URL. Um, your login is going to be whatever show it login you have. So however you log into your show it account, it's going to be the exact same login. So I'm going to click login. Under settings, show it. I'm going to type in my blog domain, which is this test URL. However, it's going to be whatever your domain is, your normal domain. I'm going to check load your custom show it pages, and I'm going to check load the WordPress homepage instead of show it homepage. That's really important. And I'm going to click on save changes. I'm going to force theme generation since this was attached to a different um, theme. You might not need to do that. Okay, so under pages, all pages. If you don't already have a home page added in here, you're gonna to wanna to click add new, title it home, under settings. Let's see here. 
you're going to want to, oh, sorry about that, just click publish, I guess, publish. Okay, I'm sorry, under this settings, the main settings, you're going to want to go to reading and then click on your homepage displays a static page and the home page, you're going to want to select the page you just made called home, click on save. All right, so under the recent posts replaced with this canvas, you're going to just want to make sure that your WordPress setting is called post view lookup and then that way it knows that these different views is looking up the different posts and you're going to want to click publish. And then as you can see, they are loaded into here. So these are the blog posts that I have in my WordPress, and they are also going to be loaded into my love stories section of the blog. And that's it.